Hey everyone, Dirty Diode here, and today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to start up your Warthog and get it ready for night flying without being blinded uh, by your night vision goggles. So without further ado, uh, let's hop in and check it out. So for this tutorial, I've already started up the airplane with uh, the auto start command, uh, which by default is left control home. Uh, now, if you've done it that way or you did a manual startup, either way, I do recommend checking out my other video uh, on how to start up manually. I've got some good tips and tricks in there, so uh, definitely check it out if you get a chance. Now, let's say you have started up uh, automatically here and you're here in your cockpit and you're like, well, what do I do now? So, let me, uh, before I start showing you, let's uh, go look at key binds real quick and uh, I can show you what is good to either bind to your HOTAS, your keyboard, or just be aware of uh, the default bindings. So uh, if you didn't know, uh, we have flashlights in the A10, uh, left control, uh, or sorry, left alt L is the default, um, but on my HOTAS, I actually have that bound to a dial that I can push and I can rotate for brightness control increase and decrease. So uh, it's pretty handy. And likewise, night vision goggles, I also have that bound, uh, it's right shift uh, plus H by default, but I'll also have it bound to a dial that I can click and turn, uh, which also gives me gain uh, up and down on the goggles, which is important if you want to get things comfortable so you can see what's going on. Now, I also have uh, the ability to change your flashlight color uh, to green and white, which can be kind of handy. Uh, and then also uh, your HUD, there's a day-night switch that you can bind. It doesn't have a default, but uh, you can bind that if you want, and I'll show you what that does, as well as UFC intensity decrease and increase rocker switches. So uh, we will show you those here uh, shortly. So let's say you jumped in and you wanna get things started up so you can actually fly and have some fun. So turn on your flashlight. There's a big button right here for emergency flood. Now, if you've done your auto startup, Everything's going to be nice because your canopy is closed and you can see stuff. But these green lights are actually on your canopy. So you can see those rings up there. I'll go ahead and close this again so you're not uh, <laughs> all deafened by the engines. But um, yeah, if it's dark, you did it manually, you wonder why it's dark, go ahead and close your cockpit and it should uh, brighten up there. Now, over here on your right panel uh, is your light cluster, uh, light control cluster. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and I'll show what each one of these does. So, if I turn off the flood, turn on my flashlight, engine instruments. There you go. Auxiliary instruments. Flight instruments. Flood. And console. Now, since I'm going to be setting this up for night vision goggle flying, I'm going to keep the flood to a minimum, or off in this case, just so we don't have to deal with it. Um, some other things that uh, the auto start does not do, you want to turn on your helmet map queuing system. Go ahead and do that. Right click it to go up to the on command. And I'll show you how to adjust that here as well. So, right now, you know, yeah, you can fly with this. You can see what's going on and whatnot. But let's go ahead and tune this a little better because if you're going to do night vision goggles so you can see what the heck you're doing out there, it's still a mess, especially if you are just staring at this as you're flying. Like, <laughs> what are you going to do? So, um, each of these MFDs, let's hit these first. They've got day and night mode, so you can give them one left click, turn them into night mode. But even with night mode, they are pretty bright. Now, the tad with the map, uh, that one's really hard to do anything with. But let's say you're looking at a different page and you want to make these dimmer. So, again, pretty darn bright. So, you've got this symbology rocker. Now, you would think it's the brightness, but watch this. I'm going to turn the brightness down. turn the contrast down. Nothing. What does it is the symbology. This rocker right here. Symbology, when you turn that down, that will actually change the uh, brightness a 
lower the brightness of the symbology items. And same thing with the right UMD. Go ahead and drop that down. And now already a little bit more pleasant to stare at. Now, helmet mount queuing system. This one you want to be able to, uh, if you got this bound to your hotess, you can uh, hit down with your uh, coolie hat switch or your coolie switch. And you know you've got it selected as a center of interest if you got the star here. So, no star, star. And then using your uh, DMS switch, you can go up and down and change the brightness. So you can go ahead and drop that down to whatever suits your fancy. Okay, coming back inside the cockpit here. So we've got a couple other things uh, that are still bright. Your um, countermeasure system here. You can change that brightness by this knob here. Just click and drag it down. As well as this knob right here. Click and drag it down. Nice. A couple other things. So your CDU down here has a rocker. Make it dim and bright. And then finally is the HUD. Now, a couple of these other things, steering, gear, I mean, all those are going to go away once you're flying. Same thing if you're uh, did manual or you're manually starting up and you still have some alarms down here. You know, those are going to be gone. But your HUD is a different matter here. So, remember the day-night switch I was talking about? If you click it, you can actually change the night mode. In that night mode, you can get it without binding anything by clicking this button here. The other thing you want to look at here is the intensity switches. Now, again, I have these bound to something else, but you can increase and decrease these to your heart's content. It's nice for if you're flying during the day and you really got to crank it up because maybe there's a cloud or the sun or something's in, in your way causing it so you can't see it. But at night, you want to turn that down as far as you can because while well, you can kind of see it, especially the green, if you want to switch it over to the kind of brownish yellowish color, which is a little bit easier to see by itself, that one's a little bit harder to see in night mode through the goggles. So that one, you can also dim it down far enough so it's easy to see. And it keeps pretty dim for uh, while you're flying, which is nice if you do turn off your night vision goggles. So, a couple of things don't have the ability to change, or at least as far as I know. Uh, if, <laughs> if anyone knows different, please uh, leave a comment. But uh, the radio down here, as well as the radio repeater, and the clock, I do not know how to turn the brightness on those. So, like I said, if you know, go ahead and throw something out in the comments. Uh, lastly, I want to talk real quick about your external lights, because we might as well, real quick here. So, by default, when you start up the airplane uh, manually, you have the ability to um, uh, set these uh, as you see fit, but by default, uh, they're actually off. And even if you uh, monkey the settings here, you got your formation lights, which are your uh, slime lights on the side of the airplane, um, you're not able to actually play with these unless you um, change your uh, uh, throttle pinky switch, I think is what it's called. Let's take a look here. So adjust controls. Yeah, HOTAS pinky switch. There we go. So you got aft, center, and forward. So if you start it manually, the default is center. If you are starting up automatic, the default is aft. And the difference here, aft lets you actually control all these and have them make a difference. Let's go take a look outside real quick here. So, look at the airplane, everything's happy. I'm gonna go ahead and click the OTAS pinky switch to center, and you're gonna see everything darken. So that's what you're gonna click if you're flying, you're getting close to the enemy, you wanna go into stealth mode. <laughs> Just go ahead and click that switch. Then you can click it back up or down. The difference for up and down is up looks at what you have uh, set with those knobs and switches. Down will go to a default steady. So, not too much difference, but you can, you can kind of see it there. 
Lastly, there are a couple more things. Um, nose illumination, you can set that on. Gives you a nice little uh, glow there on the front. And then also, you have your landing lights and taxi lights. So, not much you can do with that. I mean, you can kill them if you're in night mode if you want. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of up to uh, what you want to do. So, that about does it. Thank you for uh, listening to the tutorial here. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them uh, down below for me. Uh, I am going to try to do more of these, so if you can think of something that you want to see or uh, you're curious about with the A10, uh, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. So, thanks again. Hope everyone enjoys the video and have a good day.